Biscayne National Park in Southern Florida hosts visitors from around the world who have traveled to experience the park's stunning beaches and coral reefs. Most tourists stay for a few days, enjoying the unique scenery and then returning home. One type of visitor, however, has refused to leave, the lionfish. The lionfish, an invasive species native to the Indo-Pacific region, was originally introduced to the Atlantic as pet owners illegally released unwanted lionfish into the bay. Not only are they not in their native habitat, but then they go ahead and they compete with the native wildlife for resources. So that's water, shelter, food, and space, and they displace the native um, organisms. Lionfish are highly adaptable. They can live in very salty water, uh, very fresh water, so varying salinity levels. They um, like a variety of habitats so they can adapt to a submerged cultural resource like a shipwreck. They can live around docks, man-made um, structures. They can live in very shallow water, in very deep water, and in coral reefs. So they adapt to a variety of environments and then they kind of fill in a niche um, that may be available because they're um, the, the natural ecosystem may not be as resilient as it once was, maybe due to overfishing. With large venomous spikes down their spines and fearless behavior in the face of attackers, the lionfish have no serious predators to keep their population in check. Lionfish were first spotted occasionally in the Atlantic in the late 1980s and now are a common sight throughout the region, covering an area of about 7.3 million square kilometers. In recent years, the density of lionfish can reach up to 450 individuals per hectare in the Bahamas. Without an intervention, lionfish populations will only continue to increase. The fish mate prolifically, with females even under one year old releasing eggs every three to four days for a total of approximately two million eggs a year. The fish are voracious hunters. Multiple studies have found that, on average, Lionfish can consume 9% of their body weight in prey a day. They feed very frequently on shrimp. It's one of their favorite things apparently. According to their gut content, they eat uh, baby uh, parrotfish and wrasse, snapper. I've even found a snail in a lionfish. So they're not entirely discriminate, but they do eat um, our snapper complex and they also are eating our ornamental reef fish. Scientists and activists throughout the Caribbean region are working to innovate continuously and find new ways to manage the growing invasive populations. There are tournaments held every year throughout the Caribbean which cull the lionfish population, significantly reducing overcrowding and lionfish eating of vulnerable native species. In Florida and the Bahamas, over 16,000 lionfish have been removed since 2009 thanks to fun, competitive, amateur hunting derbies. In addition, there is currently no bag or minimum size limit in the Gulf State or Atlantic State waters. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission encourages everyone from novice to expert fishers to hunt them using different methods including spear gun, hand nets, or just simple hook and line. Even if you're not the type to dive in and hunt lionfish, you could still help control this invasive species by eating dinner. There is a broad consensus among stakeholders, from conservationists to chefs, fishers to scientists. Targeted fishing for human consumption is considered to be the most cost-effective and feasible lionfish management intervention. Having consumer demand for lionfish encourages fisheries to hunt lionfish in large quantities needed to reduce their invasiveness. It also released pressure on otherwise overexploited native species in the Biscayne. And don't worry, lionfish meat is neither venomous nor poisonous, as is commonly misconceived. Once their spines are removed, they pose no threat to humans. So next time you go out for dinner, check ahead of time to see if lionfish is on the menu. You can find it on the menu at these Florida favorites. You can buy pre-prepared lionfish fillets at retailers such as Publix and Whole Foods. So help keep Biscayne safe for native Floridian marine life and take a bite out of the lionfish invasion.